The disciples are in hiding, apart from the practical ones. The women are getting together what they need to deal with Jesus' already entombed body. Joseph of Arimathea is putting Jesus in a tomb that was meant to be his. The named disciples are either dead or in hiding. They have all been waiting for something, waiting for the kingdom to come, waiting for the promised kingdom, for the glory of God to be revealed. Now their waiting is for other things, arrest, sorrow, mourning, joblessness, angry families and friends, humiliation and probable obscurity. This waiting is hard. Their hearts are heavy, their future is so uncertain. This is the worst kind of waiting. Not like the excitement of loved ones coming through the arrivals gate at the airport, over an awaited package arriving, or a lunch guest turning up on the doorstep, or even just today's paper. There is no joyful anticipation in any of this. They seem to be waiting for something, but they can't put their finger on it. And to make it worse, heaven seems silent. No angel appearing in closed rooms with tidings of good news, of gladness and peace. No voices from above assuring everyone that everything will be okay. If you've been paying attention for the last year, our hearts have been heavy. Our future has been and still is uncertain. And it feels at times like God is silent. Many people falsely claimed the church was silent and empty because of lockdowns. But I suspect the reality is that the churches that seemed silent and empty and detached already were before the pandemic began. Every day the media wasn't silent. Figures, models, promises, theories, laws. And yet we didn't feel like we really knew any more than we did at the start. No one gave us the deeper answers, the answer to why and how. What will happen to us all? Is life meaningless? And are we just doing the best we can against Shakespeare's slings and arrows of outrageous fortune? But on that Saturday, God was quietly at work, healing and changing the universe. The slings and arrows will still be there. It will still be a hard way through them. And yet it will be a way of hope with healing and peace and good news at the end of the journey. But through the newly resurrected people we'll talk about tomorrow, there will be hope now and healing now and a taste of that glorious kingdom now. But tonight we wait.